Hello, 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 and welcome to March Magnificence. We're talking about this month, the, the attributes, the month of March, the attributes of God. And today's attribute is that he is just. And what does it mean to be just? It means to behave according to what is morally right and fair. And our first scripture for today is Deuteronomy 32 and 4. He is the rock. His work is perfect. For all his ways are justice a God of truth and without injustice. Righteous and upright is he. The next scripture is Job 37, 23. As for the Almighty, we cannot find him. He is excellent in power, in judgment, and abundant justice. He does not oppress. And the last scripture I have here is 1 John 1 and 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us of um, all and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Getting tongue twisted here, y'all. God is a just God. He be behaves and, and and acts according to what is morally right and, and what is morally fair. And what is that righteousness and that fairness? It comes from the Word of God. We need to look in the Word of God to see what is fair and what is morally right. And they say it's what? Only one righteous judge? You know, God is perfect in all his ways. You know, in everything that he does. In everything that he says. It says the scriptures were inspired. You know, by the power of the Holy Spirit. So, when he inspired that word, it doesn't matter what man does. You know, there is a warning in Revelations to say that we're not supposed to change a dot or a tittle. That's in God's word. Any marks that are in God's word. Or in today's language, any words within God's words. If people do that, God is so powerful, he can bypass all of that. Okay, so that you get the true understanding and the true meaning of what his word means. God is powerful. He's omniscient. He's all-knowing. He know what people are going to do. He said he know the ending from the beginning. He know what's down the road. We don't know what's down the road. But we don't have to know what's down the road if we know him. God is a just God. And if you want to know what's morally right and what's morally fair, I mean Leviticus book is filled with what we should do if a person's cow fall in the ditch or somebody takes something from your house. It tells us all of that stuff. But Genesis to Revelation gives us the information we need to walk a daily Christian life. Okay? We just gotta use it. He said my people perish. Hosea 4 and 6 for lack of knowledge. You know, because they reject knowledge. We can't reject this word anymore. We got to get into that word, read it. I say pray first, always pray first. Read it and study it and, and get the knowledge that you need to be able to function properly. Because God is, and Jesus is returning again. No man knows the hour nor the day. But one thing we must do is be ready. Hey, Make the commitment to be a silent Christian no more by letting your voices be heard and your actions seen. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And guess what? I'll see you on tomorrow. Have a pleasant day. Bye-bye.